Islamic State fighters are feeling the squeeze as Iraqi forces tighten their circle around Mosul, the largest Iraqi city under the group's control. There is nobody at this table who would argue that the momentum hasn't shifted. It has shifted. And Daesh has been driven out of almost half the territory that once occupied in Iraq. Defense ministers in the counter-Islamic State campaign met with the commander of U.S. forces in the Middle East to work out contributions needed for success in the fight for the terror group's de facto capital, Raqqa, and, of course, the massive battle for Mosul. We shouldn't underestimate the amount of preparation uh, necessary to take on an, an operation like that. It's a, it's a big city, two million people, large uh, geographic area, so we want to make sure we're well prepared. Defeating Islamic State requires more than just retaking cities. Those who have fled IS rule need a safe place to return to. Most of our conversation today was, as General Motel indicated, about, about what happens after the defeat of ISIL in Mosul. Stabilization plans, reconstruction plans, uh, and so forth. As IS loses more territory in Iraq and Syria, the fight will not end with the collapse of the so-called caliphate. We can contain it, we can limit it, we can defeat parts of it in detail, but none of it's going to go away. Experts say hundreds of militants are expected to disperse and attacks across the globe are likely to continue. Carla Babb, VOA News, The Pentagon.